Your phone can be a fun and handy way to connect on Zoom. You'll be ready to enjoy participating in Zoom meetings with your phone using the Zoom iPhone app after you watch this short video. I'm Marcia Chadley from the Creative Life Center, and I enjoy demystifying technology for you so that you can feel comfortable connecting with other people online. In today's video, you'll see how to download the app, how to join a Zoom meeting using your phone, easy ways to adjust the settings on the Zoom app so that they work well for you, and also how to use the Zoom controls once you're inside a Zoom meeting on your phone. It's all easy once you see how to do it. The first thing to do to connect to Zoom meetings using your phone is to have the Zoom app downloaded onto your phone. Go to the place on your device where you download and install new apps, search for Zoom, look for Zoom Cloud Meetings. You can see I already have it. It's marked it as ready to open on my device. If it said get, then I would need to download it, install it, and follow the directions and answer any questions that are asked. In order for the Zoom app to work correctly, you're gonna to wanna to give it permission to use your phone camera and to use your phone microphone. Now, you'll be asked about those things either when you install the app or the first time you use it, but you can also get to them through your settings. So open up your settings, scroll down till you find Zoom. Way down here at the bottom, open that up, and you can see I've given Zoom access to my microphone and my camera. You also might want to give it permission to look at your photos if you want to share those during a Zoom call, and we'll talk about that later. Let's take a look at the Zoom settings that you can adjust within the app before you even join a Zoom meeting to set them up the way that you like to operate. Open up the Zoom app by touching it. Look for the gear up in the upper left corner, touch that, and let's open the meeting settings. Here's a variety of things that you can set to fit the way that you like to enter a Zoom meeting. I like to come in with my, my microphone muted. I actually like to have my video turned off too so I can get my phone set up where I want it. And we'll talk about some stands and some other ways that you can have your phone set so you don't have to hold it during a Zoom meeting. We'll do that later on in the video. I don't bother with the Zoom um, the video preview. You can play around with that if you like to. And I leave the rest of these pretty much set up the way they are. Although show non-video participants is one that you might want to turn off because you can't see as many people when you're looking at a Zoom call on your phone. There's just not the screen room as there is on a tablet or on your computer. So you can hide the people that aren't showing their video anyway. You can actually do this on your computer and tablet too, but it's even more important that you might wanna do it here on your phone. So let's exit out of here and let's join a meeting. And you can notice at the bottom it says sign up or sign in. There's also a join meeting button. You can have a free Zoom account or a paid Zoom account and use that when you join a Zoom meeting with your phone. You do not have to have a Zoom account and you definitely don't need a paid account to join a Zoom meeting. You can do this for free and you can do it without the account. So I wanna show you how to do that first and then we'll talk about how it's different if you do have a Zoom account. If you just touch the, the join a meeting button when you're inside the app, it's gonna ask you for the meeting ID. I could paste that in there if I've copied it. And then I can tell it what name I wanna use. Sometimes I use my pronouns in there. And then when I join that meeting, it's gonna use that name it's asking me for the password. I could put the password in there. And now I can join the meeting. I'm gonna leave the meeting and show you another way in. An easy way to join a Zoom meeting on your phone is to use a Zoom invitation that you were sent, maybe an email or a text, and simply touch the URL. That will open up your Zoom app, 
And in this case, you can tell that the meeting host has set up a waiting room. So now I wait to be let into the meeting. I join the meeting using my Wi-Fi or cellular data. And now I'm in. I want you to notice that the host's image, which in this case is a picture, is on the middle of my screen. And up in the upper right is a little stylized icon for a person. That's really me. I don't have my video on yet. And if I touch the screen to show the controls, you can see the video and I'm also muted. Let's leave and get back in. I'm going to bring those controls on by touching the screen, touch leave. We've been looking at ways to join a meeting on your phone when you're not logged into a Zoom account, which works just great. And now I want to show you the little bit of difference it is when you are logged into your Zoom account. Zoom will be able to pick up the screen name that you like to use that you've set up in your account and also the image that you've set out set up to be used when you don't have your video turned on. So the first thing to do is either sign up or sign into your Zoom account. Now that has me signed into my Zoom account. Now let's go back and touch this URL to join the meeting and see the difference. I'm now in speaker view in the Zoom call. When you come in at first, that's where you are on your phone. I can see the person who is speaking, the host of the call normally, across the middle of the screen in a large position, and myself in the upper right-hand corner. You're seeing a picture because I've logged into a Zoom account, and that's the image that I've set as my Zoom icon to be shown when I don't have my video going. You don't see any controls because I have the setting for the Zoom app so that controls are only visible when I touch the screen. So if I touch the screen, you'll see Zoom controls at the top and the bottom. So let's turn our video on. I'm going to open up those controls again by touching my screen. I'm going to pick Start Video, and you can now see me. I'm going to set my phone down so I don't have to be holding it, and it's also a lot smoother. The next thing I want to do is to show you how to see everybody else on the call. If you swipe left on your phone, it's going to open up a new screen, the gallery view screen. You'll be able to see four people at a time. Right now there are three people on this call, myself, the call host, and Terry who doesn't have their video on right now. So there's had the little icon on. You'll notice that I look like I'm kind of big. I have a big picture that is vertical, whereas the host has a horizontal picture. And if Terry was visible, Terry would also have a horizontal picture because they're on computers and devices that have a more horizontal um, picture. On some phones, you're able to turn your phone horizontal instead of vertical, and you will have that same picture and everybody will look a little bigger. This does work on my phone, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. Turn my phone to horizontal, and now I can see people a little bit more clearly. I can also go back and see the speaker view in the same way. So this might work on your phone. It might not. It may be because you need to update Zoom. You'll just have to try it. Let's go back. Oh, one thing I want to show you before we go back, when I'm in gallery view and I turn the controls on by touching the screen, you'll see how they cut off part of what I can see. That's why I usually don't have Zoom controls on when I'm going to do a Zoom call and I know I'm going to be wanting to hold my phone this way and see people more closely. Let's go back. Since this is a view that I know everybody has, also go back to speaker view. And I want to show you how to turn the controls on. You can do it from the settings that we did before you even get in here. But if you touch more in the bottom right and then meeting settings, you can get back and change them right during the meeting. So let's always show the controls. Say done. And now my Zoom controls are going to always be present for me. I want to um, show you, let's see, if you decide you want to stop your video, you touch stop video. You want to unmute yourself or mute yourself, you touch that microphone. You can use the share content button in the middle here to share something from your phone. Maybe you want to share a picture with everybody. Touch that button, 
touch photos, choose a photo that you want to share. And now I'm sharing and you can see if I want to stop share, it's red in the middle of the bottom, it goes away, touch your screen, touch red. And now I'm no longer sharing my screen with everybody. If I touch the participants window, I can see everybody who's on the call, close that out. If I touch the more menu down here, we've looked at that a little bit. You can chat with everybody. So let's open that up. And I could say hi. And send that off. Let's close the chat window. If someone chats during the meeting, you'll get a little message up here. You could touch that and open the chat window also. So let's open this up again. You've got your meeting settings. You can minimize this window if you want to look for something. Here's where you can change your background. If I touch that background, I can choose from one of the Zoom backgrounds. It's not too bad. So if I have a real mess, I don't want to be showing everybody that. I could also choose one of my own pictures to be a background and show that. So that's, and then I can go back to none. Close out the background. Those are some of the different things that you can do when you're inside a Zoom meeting. Then the last thing that you want to do is you want to leave. So you see that button up there in the upper right hand corner, you touch that, touch leave meeting, and you're done. It can be challenging to hold your phone, keep it steady, and keep it in a position that you look good during a Zoom meeting. So it's easier if you can put your phone down, lean it against something, maybe you have a music stand, you can even lean it against your computer screen or a pile of books, and put it in a position where you're looking at the camera on your phone and it's just slightly above you. Just like when you're doing a Zoom call, the angle and the position of the camera matter. There are some different stands that you can get to hold your phone for you. Here's one that I use. This one hooks right on either a small tripod like this or even a large size camera tripod. And you're able to, to move the camera in any position you want, horizontal, vertical, you can adjust it. Have another holder that is really simple and easy and the phone just sets right here in any position you want. So I'll put information about these in the video description. Try different things, pay attention to where that lens is so you're looking up at it a little bit. We don't want people looking up your nose. What other questions do you have about using Zoom on your phone, about joining a Zoom call with your phone? Please put those into the comments.